This is my brand new Black Desert Online account, but it has some rules and restrictions. First off, I cannot purchase any pearls, which means no additional weight, inventory slots, or any other items that could benefit my experience. I can only use what is given to me by naturally playing the game. Secondly, I cannot take advantage of the accelerated progression through the seasonal server, which includes any catch-up gear like Tuvala armor or any pre-enhanced accessories given through level rewards. But most importantly is that I have zero access to the central market, which means I cannot buy or sell items unless from an NPC. And the goal? I want to reach 700 gear score. I know this is going to be a tedious task, but I'll be enjoying every step of the way. And if at any point you want to read over the rules for yourself, the link will be down in the description below. And with all that out of the way, welcome to Black Desert Online, Iron Man Edition. In the previous episode, I was able to achieve our first piece of ultimate gear, which I was able to push all the way up to Pry. I was also able to progress further into the main storyline, which rewarded us with some decent quest accessories. Along with those, I managed to acquire what I believe will be our best alchemy stone, which is from Ulukita. And now that our gear is approaching the point where I can start to look at potion spots to grind, I decided to give Blood Wolves a try. And something that will help speed up the prolonged process for this potion piece is this weekly quest that will reward me with 5 pity pieces once I kill 4000 Blood Wolves. So I don't think I will be able to use a villa buff, but there is an NPC. Oh, wait, that's huge. Our first pity. <laughs> yeah, hey, what's up, Calypso? Welcome in, man. Yo, yo. Happy Sunday, guys. Oh, dude, our second pity. Let's go. Oh, we love that. Blood wolves low key popping off. Dude, they've been popping off. Are you guys ready? Oh! Level 60. There we go. Prime Crush Crusher. All these other skills. And most importantly, weight training. This is going to help so much. And after about 7 to 8 ish hours of grinding here at Blood Wolves, along with two weeks worth of pities, I'm currently sitting at 31, which is pretty nice. And since I want to prepare for my potion, I felt it would be appropriate to acquire a fairy. And after doing the brief introduction quest, this happened. Dude, what is this quest line? Place the honey jar. Okay. And then come back to view. Lay the scattered petals. And overlay this petal. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we have access to fairies. Oh, perfect. Okay. So this is going to be our first fairy. Obviously, we want the best of the best, but we got faint. Okay, but we have 63 other Layla petals, so hopefully we'll be able to get one with that. Are you guys ready for some space bar spamming? We want... What do we want? A radiant. We want a radiant. I saw... It. Oh! No, we're... Wait, what? Sure. <laughs> we'll take it, man. I still have to level it up, though. And see if I can get the Miraculous Cheer or whatever it is. That is the luckiest shit. Okay, man. <laughs> we got a Radiant on the 5th Fairy. And before we get into rolling these skills here on our fairy, I just wanted to show you all that we were able to get some of these Thea orbs from the login rewards here and here. If this somehow gets miraculous cheer on the first attempt. Do we take that? Oh. What? What? Hey bro. Easy feather pen, you got carried? True, I did get carried on that one. And there's like no way of me trying to like get around that. Like you guys all watched that happen by the way. All right, ready? What do we want here? We want weight? 
won't wait, right? I'm all loop dev? Okay. So we won't wait, right? Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Can I choose which one I want or no? Feathery set. This is the right? Or no. Yeah, wait penalty. Takes two. I don't choose it, right? I just do it? Oh, all oh, this is so nerve wracking. What was that? Auto use from 16. Is that good? Is that good? You might get FS next level. Feathery steps. I mean, that's what we want. But I mean, I'd rather. I'm rolling now. I'd rather roll now. And that's fine. Why are we getting four? In case we roll this again, roll this again. Feathery steps, baby. Come on. We'll take it. You only need four, anyways. I mean, hey, dude, I'll take that. Our card's all. <laughs> Just go 50? I don't even think I have enough material to go 50 right now. Okay, level 30. Here we go. There you go. There you go. There you go. What is happening? Oh my gosh. We actually take that. What is this fairy? What is this fairy? Oh my god. What? I don't think I have enough to go to 40. It is, but it's easy mode. Yeah, he's trying to make that shit as hard as he can, man. Okay, we don't have enough for 40. So we will have to revisit this fairy, but for now, I think we I think we got more than what we could have asked for, man. Like, this is an insane roll on this first fairy. All right, so I got more of these from the login reward. So let's see what we get for our fourth skill. I really want the fairy tier revival thing or the light. That's what we're praying for. Fairies tier one. Okay, even though that's not the greatest version of it, we will take that. And some of you guys have informed me about the simplified boss ores and how they're now all combined into one single item. I completely looked over this on my main account, but for the Iron Man, this is a tremendous change because I only have to collect a hundred of these ores for any piece of boss gear, as opposed to collecting a hundred of a specific type for only one piece. So I took everyone's advice and started participating in world bosses. Ooh, okay, Kran is dead. First kill on the account. Let's see what we get. Darn. Okay, I mean, we got some late Norris, which is nice. Got an artifact and some gold. 30 sec. Not bad. Alright, he's like 1 HP. He's gotta be dead. Oh, I think he just died. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, where's his loot? Is that it? No? Here he goes. Okay, Nightmare Zarka. This is my second time killing Zarka? Let's see what we get. A Mark of Shadow? Oh my god, we got 12 latent boss ores? That's huge. That's that's why I, I saw <gasps> the tunnels in Vincent. Wait, I got a pity on my first Garmoth here? That may seem so insignificant, but the fact that I got one already is huge because if I get nine more, that's a guaranteed Garmoth heart. Holy cow. This will be our second Garmoth kill. Um, Let's see what we get get okay nothing important but i mean chronostones black stones we'll take those i am now rewarded with the rock heart belt and even though the base version is the same exact stats as the asula crimson belt i will be able to enhance this all the way up to try and it does also give me 80 additional weight which early on that's gonna help a lot because i don't have a lot of uh, I don't have a lot of weight capacity on this character. I do have the few that I've purchased through loyalties, but that can only go so far. Alright, 70% chance. Let's see. Let's go, Pride. Come on. Oh. Okay. That's alright, it's alright, it's alright, because we get it on the second click. 
There we go. Yes, sir. And then just threw a quick little 10 stack on there. Puts it right back to 70. Can't fail twice on this, right? I spoke too soon. Okay. 70.70, 70, come on. Those are good numbers. Oh my god, let's go. I feel like you used to have to enhance these with a specific material that you got through the quest line. I could be I could be wrong. I might be misremembering. But now that you can enhance them with black stones, I think that makes it so much easier. Much more convenient too. Let's see if we win the 36% chance. We don't. Okay, one more. Come on, baby, try. We gotta work with what we have. Oh, come on. I also don't know how to repair this. I think it's a memory fragment. Oh, that lingered. What? That was a weird. That was a weird animation. Come on. Oh my gosh. It does not want to give it to me, man. Oh, there we go. All right, and then now with the Tri Rock Heart Belt, this is a six AP increase here on the account. We do also get an additional eight accuracy, and then that that tiny little item effect at the very bottom, weight limit plus eighty. Oh, we love that! Look at this. Oh, that feels so good. And objective complete, reach one seventy AP from gear only. What a milestone on the account! Holy cow! Talk to the blacksmith. What's that? Uh, and that should be Dregan completed. Nice. With Dregan now completed, the only remaining quest lines for me to tackle is Odolita, Land of the Morning Light, and the Magnus. I know that I should have completed the Magnus as early as possible, but I really wanted to enjoy this early portion of the game before obtaining my first piece of boss armor. And with getting absolutely carried with our T4 fairy, I want to push for our first infinite potion piece here at Blood Wolves, but knowing that place can be pretty contested on almost every server, I might as well try out some other places and see what feels best. But until then, I'll catch you all in the next episode.